Thank you, Sylvain. So I'm going, my name is Dave Neary. I'm going to give you a brief history of the evolution of uh, the deployment of IT services over the last 20 years. So let's go back to 1990. The Berlin Wall has just fallen. East and West Germany have come together to win the World Cup. And uh, I don't know if any of you remember this, but the Ultimate Warrior beat Hulk Hogan in WrestleMania 6 that year. Yes. Um, this typical IT request, I need a database server to run our, our uh, ERP in the company. So here's what you do. You want this guy, IBM RS6000, running AIX3. It's got an 8 millimeter tape drive and a top of the line, 100 megabyte hard drive. Uh, so you go to your boss, you say, we need a database server, boss. He says, well, let's get in the sales guys from IBM. It's three months later, you got a quote. Six months later, the quote is approved. A, a year later, you take delivery of your server. Awesome. <laughs> Moving on to 1996, William Jefferson Clinton's just been re-elected president of the United States, and Baywatch is the most watched program in the world. IT needs have moved on, the internet's arrived, I need a mail file and web server nowadays, and what are you going to do in 1996? Well, you're going to install it on a desktop machine, 486, uh, 66 megahertz, 512 megabyte hard drive, 8 megs of RAM so that you can run X, and it's got a turbo button. <laughs> what are you going to put on it? You're going to put a Red Hat, you're going to put a Linux distribution. Something like Red Hat Linux 5.1 with the fancy N curses installer. This is my first Linux distribution. Uh, and you're going to set up SendMail, you're going to set up uh, Samba, you're going to set up Apache, and you're good to go. It's great for everybody except maybe the IT administrator in your university network, right? Moving on to 2004. Uh, the Viaduc de Mio, tallest bridge in the, in the, in the world, is open, 324 meters tall. And uh, somehow, Muhammad, uh, Muammar Gaddafi is our friend, again, <laughs> for a while. Your IT needs are moving on. Now you've got virtualization, so you can install your application on your local, on your local uh, desktop workstation, and you need a staging server to launch your app. So VMware has come to the, come to the rescue. Virtual machines are da bomb. Right? So you go to your, your IT guy, you say, hi, I've got this VM. I want to set it up on a staging server. Open a ticket. Right? So IT has changed. World, world is looking pretty good, but uh, you still got some blockages. Right, so moving on to 2013, I don't know what we're going to be remembered for, but this may be the only year in history that Pope and a Queen have both resigned within a month of each other. <laughs> now your IT needs are getting pretty complicated indeed. I want to set up a load balanced web server, I want a reverse proxy cache in front of it, I want object store behind, I want DB redundancy, and I want everything to be backed up, I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So you go to, you go to your IT guy, you say, hi, I want to set up, and he says, hold on a second. Didn't we do cons consolidated building a few months ago? Yeah. Uh, so, and don't you have uh, that, uh, an account on that IAS uh, instance that we set up op OpenStack uh, six months ago? Indeed I do. And didn't we set up OpenShift as well so that you have a pass? Uh, yeah. So what the hell are you talking to me for? Do it yourself, you lazy bum. <laughs> Open source has dramatically changed over the last 20 years the way, we, the way we deploy software. And so I don't know about you guys. We've got choice all over the data center, open source software, rules, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm looking forward to the next 20 years. Thank you very much. <laughs>